Now, away from that interview, some senior female lawyers have also spoken to Law Weekly about some of the discrimination that women face. They've also proffered some suggestions for dealing with it. We have the views of two of them up next. It's discrimination that if my friend, my sibling, my neighbor is locked up in a police station, I, as a woman, cannot go and effect their bail. You get to the police station and they tell you, women know they do bail. In the 21st century? No, it continues. But, you know, you just, you choose your battles. That's a battle worth fighting. But, you see, you're dealing with, <laughs> well, I, I, I don't want to go into that argument right now. But, I mean, there's a lot of discrimination and we faced it. And, you know, the kind of discrimination we face as female, I face, I speak for myself, it's very subtle. You're arguing a case in court, maybe a man on the other side, and a male judge is sitting there looking at, even a female judge, ah, ah, but you don't you know you're a, 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 a lady. Hello. There are no ladies at the bar. I'm doing my job. And then even if they don't say it out so overtly, it plays out when they are writing the ruling. What they would gra gladly give a man, they probably won't give to you. That oh, you're too cantankerous. You become too cantankerous when you're arguing your case. But if a man argues the same thing, he's not cantankerous. It's allowed. But you know, you just you just suck it up and move on. How many female warriors are you aware of in history? We say Queen Amina. We say more than me. Two, if you can really engage in deep thinking and research, you'll probably find five. If you find at all, you'll find ten. Mm, not much. Men, if I ask you for how many male warriors there are, and I, I've said this before, that nature in the prehistoric time, or from the beginning of mankind, nature has given woman the homemaker role. By virtue of her nature, she's the child bearer. So nature naturally gave her that role. But over time, she came out of the house. While she was in the house, the male was on the field. He went hunting. He went on war expeditions. The woman stayed at home. So those traditional roles, you need to break out of them. So I come back to the issue of uh, women being senior advocates. Like you cannot count many female warriors. That it's the same kind of thing. And because litigation, which, will, which is what you need to do to be, become a senior advocate, litigation is war. It's a legal war. It's warfare. Mm -hmm. If you are going to exceed, you have to uh, excel in litigation to become a senior advocate. You have engaged in many wars, many legal battles. So, and a lot of women are not disposed to battle, battling, fighting. So that explains, I mean, so apart from the historic rule, there's also the women don't like, women are generally peaceful. I grew up in a family where gender wasn't an issue. So it took me a while to recognize these gender issues because that wasn't my background. Uh, my father didn't treat people any differently. So I didn't know there was an expectation of me as being female and not doing this and not doing that. So. Uh, I did not personally recognize them. And so that's what I, I explain to people. They may have been there, but because I didn't know that was what it is, I would probably just put it down to you didn't like me or something, but not because of my gender, because I never for once felt I was different or inferior because oh, I was female. She said no. um, So if it came to attaining certain things, my default mechanism would be to say the person, the other person was better not because I didn't get it because I was female. And while I do recognize that there are gender equality issues and there are and they are very serious, I, I find that sometimes it may just be that the other person is better. And I think it's part of telling ourselves the truth that while gender is an issue, we need to also recognize that at times the other candidate is just better. Um, so that's my perspective. Now having said that, on occasions where I did encounter it, I would try to set the record straight as, 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 as best as I could. And more often than not, that worked for me. 
and um, yeah, I've, I've not, I'm not quite a pushover. There are no obstacles, there are no barriers. You know, the world is yours. It's up to you to do and be whatever you want to do. Uh, be, I uh, beg your pardon, and achieve whatever you want to achieve. There's nobody stopping you. There are no limitations. It's only you that can limit yourself. And so I would say to my younger self, you know, go for it. That's all I'd say.